Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study about discrete memoryless sources. So what do we mean by discrete memoryless sources? A discrete source is said to be memoryless if and only if the successive symbols that is generated by that source are statically independent. We know that a discrete source always generates some number of symbols. and if all that symbols that are generated by that discrete source are statically independent then in that scenario we can say that the discrete source will act as memoryless discrete source or we can say that discrete memoryless source so here is an example that shows that here is a discrete source that generates k number of symbols per second and obviously we can say that each symbol have some information content and the information can be represented in the form of bits so this discrete source can be said to be as a discrete memoryless source if and only if these k symbols that are generated by this source are statically independent so this is how this definition wants to say about the discrete memoryless source now let us have a look at the extension of this discrete memoryless source so while studying about this extension of the discrete memoryless source we will talk about two type of the sources so first will be the original source and second type of source will be extended source so we will classify these both sources on the basis of the number of symbols and also the entropy so let's discuss about the original source first so here is a original source that emits n number of symbols per second so this is the rate at which the symbols are being generated by this original source obviously these symbols have some information content that can be represented in the form of bits so here what n represents here is the total number of symbols that are emitted by this original source and if we talk about the sign convention for the entropy of this original source then it is h of alpha that shows the entropy of original source so this is all about the original source in extension of discrete memoryless source now we have look at this extended source so let us have a look at the extended source so before studying about the extended source let's talk about the order of extension so what is order of extension it is a order by which the original source is being extended as its name implies it's only shows the order by which the original source is extended the order of extension is denoted by the symbol capital n now let's classify this extended source so why this source is said to be as an extended source because on the one hand the original source is generating the n number of symbols but on the other hand this extended source generates n block of sim symbols and each block consisting of n successive symbols that's why it will generate very much symbol as compared to the original source and the number of symbols and the blocks that are generated by this extended source depends only on the order of extension that is capital n so this extended source generate n blocks so these are the n blocks and each block contains n successive symbols also these each symbol will consisting of some information content and this information is represented in the form of bits now if we talk about the number of symbols that are generated by the extended source then it can be calculated by this expression that is n to the power capital n where n is nothing but the symbols emitted by the original source and capital n is the order of extension if we talk about the entropy of this extended source then it can be represented as h of alpha to the power capital n so 
if we want to calculate the second order extension then we will simply write h of alpha to the power 2 where 2 represents the second order extension now let's discuss about the relationship between the original source as well as extended source so here is a simple and basic relationship between the entropies of the original and the extended source so h of alpha to the power n represents the entropy of the extended source which is exactly equals to the product of the order of extension as well as the entropy of the original source so this is very important relationship between original and extended source and we will also use this formula in the calculation of the entropy for original and extended source and it is all about this lecture if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you